today. I thank everyone for coming. I'm sure you all have some questions about the events that occurred yesterday, so we'll get this meeting started. Mabel? Uh, thanks, Galena. Yesterday, we experienced several strange tremors nearby, along with a few of you that can use magic experience to change in that magic. Yes, we... Eleonora, I wasn't finished. Both Galena and Nixie found out some information on most of this, yes? Uh, yes, on the tremors. Uh, we're still investigating the magic thing. Alright, which one of you wants to explain? Um, I, I can explain, Galena, as long as you don't mind, that is. That's fine. I'm still a bit scrambled from what we found yesterday. Uh, okay, um, well, Galena and I went to Vestgate, um, and we were able to find out more about the cave that I explored a couple weeks ago, uh, with Leo asked me to explore the area around that abandoned house, um, that I was, uh, of course, told later that was Galena's old home. Once we got... This is where it starts to get strange. How so? Uh, well, once we got to the old house, Galena started speed walking or something towards the cave that I'd mentioned. Uh, and then once we got there, it looked like a dead end until she took out a key. Uh, and then the it started to, the key started to glow and then the wall crumbled. I, I, I don't know to interrupt, but did you say key? My late- well, my husband gave it to me a little bit before he disappeared and I never knew why, but I guess I found out what it was for. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you said you never found him. Well, I don't really like telling people about my past, but I guess in this instance it's necessary. When my husband first disappeared, I thought he had just left. And when that didn't pan out, I thought he had died. Uh, turns out he's been asleep in that cave for the past 20 years. Okay... Uh, that cave that was found, uh, turns out it was the entrance to where my husband went to store and keep, keep up with his magic. Um, and also to keep up with his research. He was also obsessed with figuring out about uh, more about the two royal families of the realm. I honestly never wholly understood his obsession with it, but when we found him, he was asleep but had this magic aura around him. Uh, I think he's sleeping and can't wake up due to a spell that he wrote about. Uh, is that everything? Um. Well, no. Uh, while we were investigating, I found a journal that said a person called Ivan could could help him, uh, or help reverse whatever spell uh, that he was under. Um, I'm all for going out and trying to find this person, but I don't know where to start looking. Not sure if this would help, but you could try Silver Cove Harbor. It's one of the major cities in the area. Uh, then there's Frostmount that you could try, but it's farther than Silver Cove. Uh, I'm not the best with directions, uh, nor <clears throat> the best travel companion. Uh, my height difference and all. Hmm. Uh, what is it, Zoe? Does anyone know what this Ivan person looks like? Um, I've actually met someone whose name was Ivan, but uh, it was so long ago I'm not even sure he's alive. For, like I said, it was a long time ago. Mind if I read you, Galena? Uh, might be able to figure out more information. Um, sure.
Okay, if I'm understanding what I saw correctly, uh, the person you saw that you said was named Ivan had white hair. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, didn't you say when you read me that I had something to do with the white-haired individual that was near the sea? Uh, yes, yes I did. Uh, maybe... Maybe they're related? Huh. Maybe. Hey, Moss, didn't you say that Silver Cove Harbor was near the sea? Uh, yes, yes I did. Hmm. Maybe I should start with heading there to see if I could find anything, and then just go from there. Would you want someone to come with you? I mean, besides Blaze, because I have a feeling he's gonna follow you wherever you go. Um, if I'm to be honest, I'm used to traveling alone, um, but if a couple people wanted to come with me, that's fine. Um, although I need to get some supplies together before heading anywhere. Well, if they don't mind, I can spare the Fae Twins to join you. Uh, Fae Twins? Leo and Lydia. Oh. Okay. They're actually part Fae. They're half human and half Fae. Oh, um, I guess I should have figured that out by looking at Leo's ears, but, uh, I don't like to assume. Gotten me- gotten me into some trouble by assuming before. Um, also, didn't want to ask, because I didn't feel like it was my place to ask. That's true. It's not nice to assume, but I'm sure if you'd ask either of them, they wouldn't mind telling you. Either way, Zoe, I know you don't like to travel much, but they- but they'd really benefit from your healing abilities. Uh, yeah, I do prefer to not travel, but I don't mind helping with this uh, whenever I can. I mean, I owe you Galena for most of what I have right now anyways, uh, and if this is a way I can repay you, then I'm down. Sweetie, you don't have to repay me, you know that. No. Oops. No, I, I feel I need to do whatever I can with everything you've done for me over the years. Anyways, so that makes Leo, Lydia, Nixie, and Zoe on this expedition. Uh, anyone else? Um, well, that depends on if, uh, one of us uh, knows the direction of the town. Mabel, di didn't the twins come from Sulphur Cove? Or at least that area? Uh, I'd have to check with them, but yes, I think they did. Well, that solves the issue of figuring out directions. Well, why don't we spend the rest of the day gathering supplies, and then meet up tomorrow morning so you can all head out then. Good morning, everyone. Uh, morning. Good morning. Does anyone- does everyone have what they need? Does everyone have what they need? Uh, I think so. And we can always collect food and such on the way anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's early in the morning. Uh, Leo, uh, Lydia, do you, do you guys have everything? Uh, yeah, we got... I have a question. Who is the leader of this group? Um, that is a good question. Do we even need one? Well, I know from experience that when traveling as a group, it's better for the group to have a leader to make the big decisions. Um, 
Maybe we can decide that later? Uh, it'd probably be the best to get at least a head start on our way, um, so we can make camp somewhere when it gets dark. What do you know, hmm? Ever traveled in a group? Lydia! <sighs> we talked about this. Yes, it's a good question, but assuming that others haven't traveled in groups before, and pretty much yelling at Nixie for her logical suggestion is just rude. Also, I would suggest you get to know her and the others a bit before you start spewing big questions and suggesting stuff like that. Mm. Apologize. <sighs> sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, we should get going, uh, so at least we're a little bit on our way before it starts to get dark. Uh, good, good point. Okay, looks like we've hit a bit of a snag. What do you guys think? Are we there yet? <laughs> uh, nope. Doesn't look like we're even close to anything right now. What do you think? Let's keep going. I think there's an end a mile or so from here. Okay, um, uh, how to get over this, it's like there's something over there, but how about now? <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> uh, not quite. Um, did some scouting and it seems that inn I mentioned is close. Might have some information for us. Uh, yeah, looks like if we keep going, or at least there's a bridge, so. Or not a bridge, a dock, I think is what it's called. Yeah, a dock. Um, so that usually means there's some a building in the vicinity. I don't know. And everyone else is stopping. Oh, guess I'm not hungry. Uh, let me put that back. The rest of my apples. Um, so which of us wants to go and ask? Uh, I, I can go if no one else wants to go. What do you think, Lydia? Uh, that's fine by me. I'm personally not the best at talking to people. As you all know from a few days ago, I have a tendency to yell at people instead of talk to them. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, we'll wait here till you come back. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I agree with what my sister said. I'm better at talking to people than my sister might be, but I also can get frustrated easily with people. <laughs> uh, okay, um, come on Blaze, let's, uh, I guess we follow this road? Looks like it goes farther that way. Um, but, yeah, it's probably best to get information instead of, you know, uh, going, you know, without knowing information. Oh. Looks like a quaint little inn. Um, come on inside, bud. Okay, um, I wonder if anybody- oh! There's a second level. I did not know that. Uh, oh, um, this might, must- you must be the innkeeper? Hello! Hello, uh, how can I help you? Need food? Drink? Information? Um, I actually am in need of information. Uh, would you happen to know the direction of the town called Silver Cove? Or should I say Silver Cove Harbor? Why, well, yes. Yes, I do. If you go down to the waiting area just below uh, the inn, there's a road that runs up the hill. If you follow that road, it should lead you right to the town. Um, okay, um, is there anything myself or my traveling companions should look out for? Uh, no, not really. Surprisingly, there hasn't been as many bandits on the road lately. Not that that's a bad thing. Just usually there's at least a couple to look out for. Uh, I guess the Academy has made the safety of the travelers on the road a priority. Um, I'm sorry, did you say Academy? Never heard of it? It's called Sunstead Academy. 
It is a small academy located near Silver Cove. They teach magic, mainly defense versions of magic, um, and then ways to help the environment. Hmm. Okay, that might be a place for myself and I, myself and my companions to check. Uh, since the person we're trying to find uses magic, or at least we think he does. Yep. If the person lives around here, they might at least be able to point you in the general direction of a mag magic user. Uh, the stronger the person's magic aura is, the easier it'll be for the academy to get directions to them. Huh. Uh, that's neat. I didn't know a person's magic aura could be used to locate a person. Uh, comes in handy. Unless the person doesn't have or use magic, that is. <laughs> Anyways, um... Thank you for the information. Uh, do, do I owe you for it? Not unless you order something from me, you don't. Some people see information as a thing to sell for money, but I find it as a way to help people. Uh, well, that's a very nice thing to do. Uh, thank you for the information, nonetheless. Uh, have a nice day. Um, guess we'll just go... Come on, boys. Let's, let's go. Um... It's a very nice lady. Um, anyhow, I guess this is the um, loading area she was talking about. Uh, I guess we're already on the road she was mentioned. Um, oh, 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 they were they were right with the word. Hi. Okay. Um, so. So, uh, back from the inn, um, uh, ran into a very nice lady, uh, who said if we follow the road, um, just, just over there, uh, it should lead us straight to Silver Cove Harbor. Uh, before you ask, I did ask about, uh, anything to look out for, and the lady said the road was quiet, thanks to an academy of some sort. Uh, she also said that the academy might be a place to look. Uh, for information because apparently uh, they can use a person's magical aura to get the general location of where the person is. Uh, might come in handy um, to s for us to start from there. So, yeah. Uh, oh, why are you always so far away from the group? Uh, well, that's good. I want to get going before it gets too much later. Uh, sure, I can do that. Um, let's see what everyone else thinks, though, first. Uh, I'm down for that. Sure, let's get moving. <laughs> 